Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Oni coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. We are very, very happy you are here with us today. This video is called Spring, or this layout is called Spring. This video is Spring Part 3, Secret Garden Altered Book. Isn't that cool? I'm trying to give you up close here. We've used our metallic paints on our double-sided scrapbook paper. We've really adjusted the colors to even accentuate that uh, pop-up even more. And then we've, I just kind of went through and uh, added in some extra pieces. The background definitely needed some work. And um, I'm not sure if this will be a three-part or a four-part video series, but this is part three. And I am so, so happy you guys are with us today. Our compliment to this, as you know, we have the secret garden and the simple exposure, right? So the secret garden is the utopia and simple exposure is more the reality. So this fellow is all about the rebirth and the, 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 the um, coming anew, you know, getting through kind of that dark part of life. And so this one, this one is kind of more the reality, which is unless you can feel gratitude and see the universe around us, this is about seeing our world. So if this layout interests you at all, please come check it out over on Patreon. The links are down in the comments. And um, I am in love with this book. I also do want to talk about real quick about unity and how we can create unity and cohesiveness within our books. They don't have to just be random. They don't. And you don't have to use the exact same technique over and over and over. Everything is unique and different in this book. I think that's what keeps it super interesting, right? So how have I created unity? I've used similar products and I've used a similar color palette, and I've had a similar basis for each layout, okay? So uh, what I mean by that is, obviously this has become a very large nature-themed book, but it's not all nature-themed, um, but it is me, right? So the theme of this book is me. The color palette and the supplies used to create unity. So I've used a lot of the mica tiles. And I love these mica tiles. Links for these are down in Amazon, uh, down in the comments in the Amazon links. Um, I love the natural feeling that these give you. Not always the easiest to work out, work with, but I love the look that you get. So I've used similar products. And I have a very, very strong color palette that I use, as you can see by this guy. This is another project we're doing over on Patreon. So I use predominantly blues and greens with the complements of gold and oranges. And as you can see through my books, I also use those very strong. That's my color palette. Everybody has a unique and individual color palette. They just do. That's what makes us unique as artists, colors that we're attracted to. So be sure to embrace that. Don't go, oh, Stephanie uses blues and greens, so I have to use blues and greens. Use the colors that speak to you, but try to look at your color wheel at least and see if they are harmonious together or complementary of each other in order to really push your aesthetic and to push your depth. Everybody needs to know those color rules, don't they? They are very important. Okay. Well, everybody, love you bunches, and we will chat soon. Here's the video. Okay. Now, what I'm working on, some little butterfly shapes. And I just have these scraps of paper. So, your fold has to match the folds here. Hopefully that doesn't mess up anymore there. 
right so um, we cut a little tail and then we cut down for the wings we come up and then we cut come big wings and I'm just trying to remember how a butterfly looks I haven't actually looked at one for a long time you could do this with like stamps or with a butterfly um, image that you cut out I bet there's even butterflies you know on scrapbook paper that you could use and there's the butterfly shape or something like a butterfly I've been working on this thing all day. I, I have to admit, it's um, a lot more time consuming than I thought it would be. I also need to adjust my colors here. And we're gonna pull in some of the purple. This brush we have a lot of control with. We're going to make this dark under here. Now, if we can do it without losing all the green, that would be great. And without losing all the transparency, you know, whatever we have left of that music would be awesome. And that green is definitely throwing me off. And you never know until you get something down what the actual color, you know, of a background should be. Okay, so what have I been doing? I've, I've uh, advanced from where I last left off with you. Um, what I've done is, again, I've taken my double-sided uh, scrapbook paper. I have folded pieces in half and I'm kind of just mushing them out here a little bit. And I'm doing this to kind of give it a little bit more bulk so that it opens up a little bit better. And I just, you know, I didn't feel like it was finished the way it was. So, you know me, I just kind of keep going until it is done. So, on some of these, I've put the, the glue dot on one side. And some of them, I'm putting them on both sides. I found when I put them on both sides, though, they kind of split open a little bit more than what I was happy with. Now, that one feels really square at the bottom. So we're going to just kind of go around our little glue dot. So these are becoming like um, uh, lilies, which they already had a lily feel to them, but they will fold up along with everything else, right? Yeah. 
Yes. Yes, Steffi. You're right. Now, I've been making butterflies. I'm trying to figure out a good way to make them work. Now, this one I can put on either side here. I was trying to make a little stem and see this didn't work exactly the way I wanted it to. Uh, but it would definitely stand up here. Or I can put it inside of one of these flowers still very easily, like that. Um, I think what I'll end up doing here is as I close it, see I could put one there and one there, and then it would come out like that as it opened. Um, or I can just put it, you know, on here, like this also. I'm still trying to decide what I want to do with these little flutterbys. And maybe the smaller one is better. Maybe having it stick up independent is better. We just need to make sure that it folds, you know, so find your butterfly shape, cut it out. Um, you fold it in half. So when you have a half fold on it, then you can um, fit it into here, kind of wherever, and it should fit in there. It should work. Technically, it should work. Maybe it would be good to go here, but then it's gonna fold too much when you fold the book, close the book up. on. So do I have a particular pattern on how I got these to fit together and work? No. Are there patterns online? Yes, on that Own World website uh, video. There definitely are set patterns um, to make it probably a little bit more simple. I really truly wanted this to be um, organic and larger than what they were making it. Um, so that's why I did it this way. You know, kind of vary some of those sizes. That will be good to really um, push that open more. super close to done here I think I guess I won't put in the butterflies um, I don't think they really need it I suppose um, and this guy I don't need to really worry about trimming it down because it's already it's not going to be seen I'm just put it right there and right there Yeah, I could put leaves in here. No, it's already pretty, pretty busy the way it is, pretty intense the way it is. I really don't know if it needs more than what I've got. This orange will look really good with this blue purple one here. And one more glue dot. Put a second one in here.
I don't think it can hurt anything. So I'm going to continue to play with it. We'll bring back in just a little bit. I'm just going to glue some of those down and see what I can come up with. If I can get them back out of there. All right, I'm going to find some more scraps. This is all about using up our little scraps, isn't it? Those colors will work good. 